Canada is not sorry. Ooh. NORAD. Says Canada's not sorry anymore, so what does this mean? Finally, NORAD's radar warning system will get some upgrades. Let's not make Canada mad. The last thing you want is Canada mad. I know that for sure. They don't lose wars when they're mad. Yeah, but do you ever feel like there's something a bit <laughs> off. off about him? Yeah. So, some is scary about I'm Canada. Beer bottles while drinking guns. I mean, I mean drinking beer. <laughs> Uh-oh. 30 years later. Okay, wait a second. What is this team? Are we fighting aliens? Russia, China, USA? Oh no, we're fighting Canada. He's gone nuts. Yeah, he's got radar upgrade. This mother radar. sees everything coming now. Uh-oh. He's unstoppable. Finally, the leaf people they'll never end. And look, that was literally them nuking us. Well, I'm glad Russia and China joined us in North America to take on the angry Canadians. So Canada has recently announced that it would increase spending and implement upgrades on its portion of the North American yeah, NORAD. Yeah, seriously, that was the first thing I was thinking. Whenever these three team up, it was either an angry Canada or aliens. Those are the only two options. Wait, so NORAD is a combined organization only between the US and Canada? Why do I think more people would be involved? So there's both a long range and short range radar system. Then we have the Orange, which is coastal radar, again, for like a warning system in case something's coming. And the Alaskan radar, which I'm assuming is the US, they're taking care of that part. These triangles represent the forward operating location. They are in spots with probably exactly 12 people living in them. Do we know the exact areas? This would be very hard to get to. Countries create a black hole for reasons. Is this about the, yep, there it is. This is what everyone's talking about. This thing is very scary. Could something go wrong? Man, I just don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> you know, so we're gonna create a black hole. Well, sir, I think that the scientists have run I'm assuming the balls are, are going to what destroy the country wall universe. The and it's made a giant black hole that's consuming the earth, and we just can't tell because we're caught in the event horizon and stuck in a time warp. Oh, orbit. that's trippy. Oh, yeah, get him off the TV. So he's he's talking too much truth. So good, and hopefully, not create a black hole. Sweden, you know, America, Finland. There's more to life than just a uh, whole fear and smashing some things against <laughs> things destroying no, things. Really? Yeah. Check it out. Czechia, it's Australia, it's Spain. Australia. It's amazing that you've managed to elaborate this based solely on the reflexes of kangaroos. So genius. Rolling the R's. You're gonna make me blush. It's like a fly in my face. In Canada, you've got those warm magnets. Oh, heck yeah, bud. I like, I really love that the balls have the proper accents. It's really important. So, I wish I could do that. Very comic book, pal. France should always have the thin mustache. True, true. Sometimes you just have to... Fundamental structure of universe. What? And whoa, whoa, his voice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you can. Oh, it's an actual thing? It's a beam? No! Bring him back! Bring him back now! Make a bigger black hole! You do know the point yeah, of this that would be bad. isn't to create black hole. I said bring him back, <laughs> son of a bitch. That'd be like the only thing more powerful than like a nuke, right? Imagine you can just like put a black hole in the middle of a city. Black holes would be better than a nuke because would it not leave that radiation like messing up the land for, you know, thousands of years afterwards? Imagine a black hole weapon, you just put it for like 3.2 seconds, an entire city disappears without any consequences. Well, there'd be consequences. It's just like... Thanos snapping a whole city. So the LHC will not generate black holes in the cosmological sense, but it is possible to create tiny quantum black holes. Ah, quantum. That's how every Hollywood movie describes how, like, things crazy things work. I'd say is quantum and anything is possible. It's in Geneva, Switzerland, they might create tiny black holes, which is said to would be a fantastic discovery. I guess it'd be fantastic, also kind of horrifying. Where our plastics really go. Our plastic waste a few years ago. I really thought we were hooped. Good oh thing boy. There's a bunch so of the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. It, eh? The great 
Here all part of the Basel Convention, Jax? <laughs> countries from the Pacific does need a permission to import your garbage. No more of your garbage oh. in our rivers. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, ship it back oh, to him. Bloody hell. I'm going That's to what happened to Canada. My own environmental laws. Maybe we'll actually have to reduce our consumption of plastic. Mm, um, yes, I think we've all learned a valuable lesson <laughs> today. And what's the lesson? Buy my plastic waste now. Two for one deal. No return policy. Yes, supply. it's not going to change anything. You know, when this gang rolls up on you like this, you've really messed up. A couple years ago, a ship carrying 69 containers of waste mislabeled as plastic recyclables returned to Canada on Saturday from the Philippines. Oh, this is real bad because I guess this stuff was mislabeled. I mean, that's even more obvious that you're going to send it back. And do we even really want to get into the terrifying nature of microplastics? Not ready for that right now. Sri Lanka is so, mad. Sri Lanka, if you want to get out of oh, the crisis, this is, yeah, I've been hearing about this news. Didn't, uh... what all these contracts say. Oh. Yeah, we'll they're, they're signing their soul away. Territory and economic policy. Okay, but what if yeah. I had control, became self-sustaining, and didn't have to <laughs> collapse again in the future? <laughs> Don't be silly. That's just how that can't happen. Works, Sri Lanka, baby. The what has crisis. been happening? I do want an update. <laughs> it really sucks. We have no options because of previous neoliberal policies and our corrupt politicians that dug us into this hole. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, there's some huge suck, protests. Right? Very sinister. And inflation, of course, was hitting this island pretty bad. It was up to 54% by June. All the articles I'm looking up about this are all still back from July. What about the new updates? Countries look at space and it's horrifying. It's gonna be a cross between planet balls, solar balls. Like how NASA has it. The guidance sensor and spectrograph what? you oh. guys built is awesome. We can recognize Canada. You took the ball and That's like the one country flag we can recognize. Space! To space! What time I NASA am? should definitely have a Houston nope. accent. You're for literally sure. a ball representing an international space agency, and the <laughs> other near infrared spectrograph you develop also rules. So many spectrographs! Very cool. So is this going to be talking about all the, the time. amazing the things we can see with the telescope? And the new the telescope? telescope? NASA, you do the honors. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, he has his Texas accent. That's perfect. Who's ready to see some never-before-seen footage of the early universe? <laughs> it kind of sounds like the U.S. has a southern this. accent sometimes, too. Folks, we're about to witness a true wonder of nature. Star Wars. Star. Oh, God! Okay, breathe, Louise, breathe. Yeah, it's weirdly really similar to uh oh my God, what? This isn't what I expected at all. I've never Okay, well actually it, it's not that similar. Okay, maybe it, but I mean the way so majestic. <laughs> NASA's just yeah. Mama. <laughs> Such a way with Space names. Is so weird, I'm out. Oh, come on, man. That was beautiful. Yeah, NASA loves looking at that. What I mean is the way, like, uh, huge planets will, like, crash into each other. That's how we got the moon. I don't know. I've just read, like, weird metaphors, weird fan fiction. About space, about space. That's the only thing. Russia quits the ISS. Canada ever weaponizes this Canada army, I've been hearing about this, too. Hello, friend of ah! Russia, God, don't yeah, he do that. Leave. Yeah, Russia, don't don't sneak up on people anymore. You're not allowed to walk behind people and freak them out. Bad news, bro. NASA, I'm breaking up with you. Typical yeah. Russia. What? Working with American astronauts doesn't fit your propaganda narrative? Well, no, but it's it's not that. Uh, ISS oh. will be retired soon, and we just need to start moving on. Time for a new horizon in the Russians. Mm, they're Space breaking program. up. It was so dang nice having international collaboration in space. Oh, it can True. still hang out to do the new space station threat. He is just not after. I, mm. I understand. <laughs> I don't need it's a to weird... Do. I got Canada. It was like a toxic oh, relate. What the... <laughs> God damn it, Canada, Canada grabs onto him. Sorry. It's a mutual breakup then. I didn't think it was that mutual. I thought their relationship was pretty toxic. North Korea nuclear <laughs> power. I just wrote a 
Waters' I am a nuclear power. You can't just call yourself um, something. Is he going to launch something over Japan? You also call yourself democratic, sir. Dude, South Korea and Japan bowls. You yell They're eating sushi. Literally all the time. It's always nuke this, nuke that, nuke me, nuke you. <laughs> what? Something on my face? Oh, yeah? Well, I also wrote a law that says I can first strike anyone oh, who threatens me. Really? Yeah? Oh, really? Oh, I heard it's says, blurred now. We did look that up. India and China. Dude, what the fuck? India and China do not have first strike, though. Every other nuclear power does. But it, I thought North Korea said that they wouldn't first strike. But, you know, I mean, this is just going to continue to be a bigger and bigger problem, isn't it? It's not going to go away. And big thanks to Why Am I Doing $20 this? $20 is a lot, a Drew. A fat Norwal. Drew's Argentinian Bring grandpa. Chris3773. Danny, thy Good old I stole Drew's pet Jekov, dog. Bruni. Luxembourg. Nation at risk. Dortman. Fresh animations. E. Ronjay. The Pie. The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Twicken. Hampton. Viotic. Zany Boy. 